Welcome back to the Road to Insane Final Boss. This episode, I'm going to be still doing Araxi every day, of course, trying to get that fang and third leg. So, yeah, hopefully get the fang sometime soon. And I know I could do mage kills for a slight increase in the fang chance, but that would honestly just... I don't know. It would take more food, and I don't have any good armor for mage. Like, I just have subjugation without any ports armor or T90 armor. So I think range kills in the long run would be better for me to just do even for just getting going for the fang, at least for now. So yeah, just gonna try to get this uh, fang and leg piece sometime soon. Oh snap, well, I mean, it <laughs> kind of kicked me out of the interface real quick there, but there we are, spider leg bottom. That's really nice to get on this same rotation. Oh sweet, dude, that's two, actually this is the same day as I got the last spider leg bottom, so that's two in one day. Uh, I've used both of the pheromones by now though, so it's been quite a few kills. But that's really nice to get, so now I can just use the middle path for the rest of this rotation. And it's one out of three for the third leg that I've made on this account, so that's really nice. Alright. And there's 90 fire making, which I don't really think unlocks anything useful, but uh, it's just a milestone, I guess. So I'm just here to try to get 92 for the Inferno ads, but I'm probably going to stop here um, for now because I want to make some more overloads. I'm like pretty much out of overloads and I'm pretty close to 94 which means I can just banner boost to make the overloads which is going to be a lot more convenient than using uh, spicy stews. And 94 Herblore. It's a really nice level to get because now I can make prayer renewals without having to boost at all and I can just uh, banner boost to make overloads so that's going to be a lot more convenient than using spicy stews. And uh, yeah, it's just an overall really nice level to get. Okay. Final Chills has received a Raxite pet drop. Um, does it show up in this thing now? But Sonic Scales, I'll take those. But whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is my first boss pet. My first boss pet is the freaking Araxor base pet at KC. I uh, might as well do it in the clan chat. Uh, Rax freaking 240. I got the base pet. What? Okay. Yes! Like, just wow. This is going to be my last kill of the day because it was on like 210 or 220% in rage. It's my most rage killed ever. I think. So, wow, I did not expect to get freaking base pet. Jeez, it's, and isn't it like 1 in 512 or something? Uh, rate, so, wow, pretty lucky, I'd say. Let's go ahead and open up the, uh, whatchamacallit, where's the pets interface? Uh, oh yeah, it's probably under this now. All right, uh, boss pets, Pete. There it is, all right, call pet. Well, I probably want to have it override familiar. Ah. Uh, there we go. So there it is, I guess. Um, <laughs> my first boss pet. Just, okay. And 92 fire making. All right, that's as high as I'm going to get until I grind out 99, 99, I guess. So yeah, I should be able to go light up all those beacons and unlock the Inferno ads so I can complete the Varrock task set. Pretty sure I have all the skills and stuff to actually complete all the tasks. But uh, for now, before I do the beacons, I need to go do uh, some Rise of the Six kills. Oh wow, actually 84 woodcutting on the same, at basically the same time as that firemake level. Anyway, yeah, Rise of the Six. Uh, they're going to fix walking really soon here, and it's a lot easier to do Rise of the Six when someone walks Carol. So I better do as much as I can before that patch goes live. So yeah, good luck on some shields. Alright, that was a pretty nice hour or so of rots. We only failed like two kills out of the whole hour, and that was really nice. So let's see, how many energy energies am I at? 114, so I should easily be able to make that full malevolent set with lots less left over. Uh, whenever I, you know, have I'd have to boost my smithing to make all three pieces, and I don't really need it for anything quite yet. I have the plates, and I also have the stones of binding. Got 74 tectonic energies whenever I get the uh, rune crafting level I need to make tectonic, which will be like, pretty nice. But yeah, I get 307 raw rock tail, lots of battle staff, just tons of r really nice resource drops from Rise of the Six. Hopefully, I do a lot more uh, during this week, right before the walking nerf. Uh, it's gonna suck after he can't be able to walk Carol, and I need tons and tons of energies to finish all the bobbleheads, so hopefully, do as much as I can right now. 
And that's 89 farming. That's actually a really nice level to get because now I can plant three spirit trees as, at a time and I can banner boost to plant fellstock seeds for my farm run. So that's going to be really nice to ha have. I can actually start making my uh, prayer renewal potions which are going to come in handy for bossing and stuff. And this should be the last beacon. So there we go. Congratulations, you've kept all 14 beacons alight simultaneously. So there we go. That's the Inferno ads uh, done. Ran out of run energy a couple times and I screwed up in a lot of path stuff on that uh, run, but whatever. It's really easy to complete all 14 as long as you don't screw up too bad, like forgetting an entire beacon. But I, I guess I did it. And that's all I needed for like the Varrock task set basically. I think I can just go ahead and complete that task set whenever I feel like, so yeah. Oh wait, I actually need one more rune crafting level to complete this task. I, I think so. Might want to go to rune span and just uh, finish off that 78 rune crafting. And there we go. Incinerated a log on my magic tree so now I can go ahead and clear this and replant it. But that is all the Varrock tasks done. None of them gave me too much trouble. I mean, I had to go get the stupid uh, Skull Scepter from that dungeon, which was kind of a pain. But then I also had to make a Wild Pie, because yeah, I had to kill a Choppy for that. But anyway, that's all those tasks done, and I uh, can go collect my rewards. Oh snap! I just got a shield! Oh, oh yes, Vengeful Range. That's actually the best one, I think, isn't it? For me, at least, for Raxor. Well, I don't know what the best uh, shield is, but that's my first shield. That's uh, not half bad. Awesome. Okay, yeah, maybe it's not the best shield, to be honest, but that's came at uh, 99th chest. <laughs> wow, under 100 KC shield, not bad. And then just got my 100th Rise of the Six kill, and then someone on the team, little Satchmau, got a shield on that kill. It was back to back with that for other shield, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, done with Rise of the Six for now. Probably gonna go with Raxor, and uh, this shield should actually come in handy for Raxor, but honestly, I probably would have preferred the Mage shield. Uh, just, I don't know, base tanking in the far future, but it's fine. I'll, I'll take a T90 shield. I'm happy about that. And got lots of seeds, and how many friggin' raw rock tails did I get? Over a thousand three hundred raw rock tails from that one session of Rise of the Six. Really awesome. And how many energies am I at? Uh, 167. Getting close to that first pet, honestly, but I probably won't make a pet until I have full malevolent, possibly even two sets of malev malevolent, one for to uh, augment, and one to keep unaugmented, just in case I want unaugmented malevolent for whatever reason. Well, time to unlock all the Raxite pet skins, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, unlock this acidic spider pet first, Bill. So to do this, you just need to not lure any of the four spiders. Uh, by, and also not take the middle path and then yeah, the Raxi will absorb all the acid and uh, give you the bill pet if you kill it, I, I guess. And there we go, unlock the acidic spider pet. And to kill, uh, get the Dave pet, just gotta kill it with mage or I guess just kill the melee form of a Raxor. And this was technically a slightly higher chance to get a fang, but whatever, I'll take the magic seeds. And there we go, unlocked the uh, Steve pet by killing the ranged form of Raxor, by just, you know, killing with melee, and battle stabs, okay. And there we go, got the pulsing spider pet Lana by dealing no damage to Raxor on phases 1 and 2, and then just killing all 300k damage on the phase three, so there we go. That's all the skins I can unlock on this rotation. The only one I have left to unlock is Gavin, the Mirrorback Spider, which I need path one open for, so uh, gonna have to wait a few days for that. But then after that, I'll be able be eligible eligible to receive Raxite egg drops for the uh, Barry and Mallory pets, hopefully, eventually. Ooh, pheromone. Tempting to use this rotation. Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess I still need the spray leg middle. And there we go. Pretty sure I completed the challenge this time. Only ate one mystery meat, so claim my reward, please. Give me that surgeon's ring. And there it is. Ugh. Hopefully, I don't have to do this quest ever again on any account. I can just uh, right, let's put this in fletching, because honestly, I'm gonna get plenty of herbs for 99 herb lore. Uh, just doing bossing and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, Fletching, I need that 92 for Vampirism and 95 for uh, Ranging and all those Accuracy auras. But anyway, Asylum Surgeon's Ring obtained. 
It's a really nice ring. Doesn't uh, sometimes lets you not use adrenaline on threshold abilities, which is actually really uh, nice to have. So yeah, awesome. Alright, so now that I have all the skill requirements and everything to be able to do the Mauritania task set, I think it's about time I actually do Barrows and try to fit, get me a full set of any uh, set so I can finish one of the tasks. And uh, this is locked because I still haven't done all of te Temple Trekking, but it's, that's not really a skill requirement so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, good luck me trying to finish one set of Barrows. Eventually I'm going to have to finish all the sets for all the bobbleheads which is required for the insane final boss title, but that's not for a while. Hello, Darox Helm. Do I have that already? It's been so long since I've done Barrows, I don't even know what I have right now. Nope, Darox Helm is a unique, and I do also have the two Darox plate bodies, and wow, a... Yeah, what is that, Torag's Helm? So that's interesting, I have those two pieces of those two sets. And the next chest after that Derek's Helm, get a Guthan Spear, so that's pretty nice. Don't have that one yet. Ooh, what is that? Uh, Aram's robes, Robe Skirt, so that's not, how to, not a half bad one. Don't have it yet, so cool. Oh wow, another Torag's Plate Body. It's my third one. Oh, I mean, I'll take it. It's good for invention, but uh, kind of looking for uniques here. Ooh, and the very next chest after that plate body got a Akrasay's Robe Skirt, so that's a unique, but I don't have any other pieces of the set, so yeah. Oh look, another Guthan Spear. Great. Ooh, what is that? Carol's Pistol Crossbow. Okay, so that's the one-handed crossbow. Main hand, I assume, so that's uh, a unique, but it's not part of a set that would count for the set, I don't think. Whoa, what is that? Carol's Coif? That just looks like a mess. <laughs> it's barely recognizable, but I guess it's a unique item. And the chest after that, Carol's Coif got a Aram's Hood, which I believe I already have one of, but that's fine. Ooh, Crystal Triskelion Fragment 2. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that is amazing. That is so awesome. Oh, yes. I was hoping so bad that I would get this without, like, having, like, five eyes or something ridiculous, and it just happened. This is incredible. Like, just just how lucky I've been at Araxor. Let's just get the KC there. And hopefully you don't mind the maybe bit of background noise. My family is doing laundry, which is right next to my room. But anyway, holy crap, I just got an Araxes fang. And I'm one out of three of, of the leg pieces to getting a scythe. That's... Wow. That's just so awesome. This is unbelievable. Racks like I even have the base pet already. That's ridiculous. How many kills? 264. All three hilts. Base pet. One out of three for the third leg. Holy crap. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention, but I did a full raid kill right before that fang drop, so uh, yeah, it's always nice to add on to the Akamaru kill counts. Just loot this corpse, nothing good. But um, yeah, I didn't get anything good from the Akamaru kill, uh, just lots of food, which was nice. And that's 90 fletching, another 90 skill done, and uh, what do I unlock with this dragon arrow really at 90? Okay, so a bunch of useless Grimshaws, Elder Shortbow... Yeah, nothing really important, but um, just two more levels until I can make my Vampirism Scrimshaw, which would be really nice with my uh, Scythe I should be making soon, so those will pair uh, really nicely. And there we go, unlocked the Gavin pet, or the Mirrorback spider pet, just uh, by... I think I did it on Phase 2, I killed or dropped Raxor's life points to zero. Uh, oh, terrible drop. Um, with the mirror back spider, like when you attack a mirror back spider, it reflects some of this damage back to a Raxor. So yeah, using that damage, you have to drop Raxor's life points to zero. And uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to do in phase two because you get multiple chances at uh, killing Raxor. So yeah, pretty easy. That's all the skins unlocked. So now I should be be eligible to uh, get spider egg drops, or you know the pet the. Uh, items you get to unlock the Barry and Mallory pets. And here they all are in the interface. Dave, Steve, Pete, Gavin, Lana, and Bill. Oh yay, a pheromone. So 10 more kills today, or I don't know, I don't, I don't really like minion path, but I do need the top leg. 
So yeah, I also needed the middle leg, but now that path isn't open anymore, so I'm gonna have to wait like five days or so, right, to get that middle leg, so we'll see if I get the top leg, um, this rotation. Wow, back-to-back -back pheromones, actually, so that's cool. I know I don't sound very excited to get these pheromones, even though it's nice to get just so I can do more kills, but eh, doing a Rexor is getting pretty tiring on me. And there's 98 prayer, which is just, yeah, yeah that's pretty nice. Oh wait, I got 138 combat. I guess I didn't expect that, but uh, that's cool. <laughs> One more prayer level until that's 99, and then just like three more summoning levels until I'm maxed combat, like all the way. But uh, yeah, I think I've done enough this episode. Got some pretty lucky drops, especially at Araxor this episode. Just crazy luck there. So happy I got all three hilts now. I can finish my knock set as soon as I get those two more leg pieces. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Oh, by the way, uh, you can see progress on pets on the spreadsheet. Um, the pets I don't have are have a red background in the cell and then the pets I do have I have a green background so you can like visually see how many pets I have versus the pets that I need so if you want to check that out that's always there in the description.